What's up guys, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel, in today's video I'll be talking about the Golden Vacation event and everything related to it. First of all, there are two different separate events for farming, the Golden Vacation Column, where enemies are aligned in a column, and Golden Vacation Row, where the enemies are aligned in a row. There is also the Clink Clink Golden Island. This is a special event that you use a limited currency that you get from the farming and you will be able to get plenty of gold. You should bring either uh, Doubt, a character that was given out for free uh, recently, he boosts the aura that drops. Or, if you don't have Doubt, there is also Magellan that also increases the drop. So, you should get plenty of free gold here. And you will need, because in this event you have to spend gold to get keys to run the other event, call it Golden Passage. This Golden Passage asks for a key. It's a gold key. As you can see here, I cannot use it because I did not purchase one. So, uh, in order to get the key, you have to purchase going on the exchange and paying with Aru. The first one is just 10,000. Pretty cheap, you can do this. But the last key, there are 15 keys, will cost 7 millions. That's right. But this event will give you plenty of gold anyway, so you will be able to get as much, even if it takes time. So, besides that, you should just farm the events, Golden Vacation, and I'm gonna start talking about the column, and before, let's just talk about the shop itself. It's a little different here, we have packages that you can purchase with the normal currency, there's only one here in the event, you can see there are packages with gold, and then jewels, gold, and gold pieces, gold and platinum tickets, and everything else. And besides, all the other stuff are just like most other shops. Okay, now let's talk about the farming part, and you cannot see the enemies before you enter the stage, but they are weak to four elements, Slash, Cold, Sun, and Piers. There's plenty of different combinations to farm this event. Let's start with Enya and the newest Claudia. Why? Because she's just a very strong column attacker, and she needs Enya in order to attack two times with Skyfall, a triple S attack. So just bring Magia Fight Formation, leave Enya in the back, Claudia in the front line, and she's gonna farm this with ease. Okay. We do even more damage because Enya is buffing Dexterity, but see, these enemies have around 150,000. The first three enemies are human. The second wave we have Ricky, and he's not a human, so if you are using critical attacks against human, it will not hit him. But Claudia does not need that, she just does very high damage, pretty fast for farming as well, but requires Enya as well. My second strategy brings Bludgy Darkin, this one that's called Reviving the Guild, with his Bludgy Harvest attack, just increase Golden Note. Because he will get PP back by landing critical attacks, he will be capable of using this Q two times in a row. And he can kill all the enemies if you have a very strong weapon. In this case, I'm using the Enya weapon with 99%, but he will not kill Ricky because Ricky is not a human. So it's actually a very good formation to bring uh, trainees to train skills if you want. So Dark Kick in a most clear, but you need a trainee to do damage against Ricky. Okay, first round is pretty simple, not see much damage, 160,000, so barely enough, actually. My Dark is also fully promoted. Now he's not gonna kill Ricky, he's gonna do how much? 127,000, so someone will have to go here and kill Ricky. Well, my Emerald could not kill it by herself because, well, it's a very weak style. But it's still pretty fast and good for training while you're still fast farming. Okay, now the next strategy brings the Wave Array formation with characters with strong column damage, like this Gustav to test my sword has vertical blade. That should do plenty of damage, but it's not enough to kill the enemies. Uh, there is also the, the last rapier version of Monica that can inherit Bloom Rain and attack two times as well. Uh, they will do around 130,000. So you can use any of them plus someone else with AoE attacks and it would just simply work. I'm just bringing both to show that they get pretty close of doing enough damage. Uh, there's also the newest blue, if you get him, he will require the Magia Fight Formation and his damage may be capable of soloing, but I don't have him, will not summon far, so let's test this formation. So again, you don't need both, just bring one and a weaker 
attacker that will be enough to kill. See, 125 with Monica, 130 something with Gustave. Gustave uses a little more. Both are having close to 100% passives from the weapons. But it's easy to find a trainee that can do 20,000, 30,000 just fine. Now, still using the wave of information, it's better than Amazon Red X because if you are only using two characters, uh, the third one would never try to attack like in Amazon Red X. So, uh, one attack that still works pretty fine to farm columns is Waterfall Blade Plus, something that you can find in Final Impress, in Soji, in Nectar, so, and also Grey. I'm even using Platinum Grey together with Empress, with Waterfall Blade Plus Cycle for both characters, and it certainly works pretty well. Okay, let's see how much damage we get. Empress, 110,000. Grey's not that far, huh? We are doing 190,000 more than enough. His attack is also very fast, so if you don't have the other options, this will work for you. Okay, now we will move to the row stage and use a very good formation with a very special attack that works super well here. That is Shimmering Slash Plus. This is an Amplify available to some characters like Albert, there is also Arpina, there is also Raphael, Leon. So it's a very strong attack because it is strong against humans and it's fast, triple S damage. So. Uh, you attack with one character in one wave, with the other character in the second wave. Does not matter much, just choose the strongest one for the second round, because there you will need more power, since Rick is not a human. Uh, in this case, Albert's on the front line, so he's gonna attack first, and Arpina is on the back, she's gonna attack second. Try to bring the best equipment to the second wave. So Magia fights the best one, so that your characters don't do combos. Okay, let's see how much damage we get. Albert's using the Remembrance's word because the skill is not maxed. He's doing 185, I guess he can reach 200,000 later. Now Arpina did 182,000 against Ricky, more than enough to kill him. Okay, but now I want to show you how strong this attack is by farming with two free styles. Remember the S version of Arpina was given out recently? This is the one that gave Shimmering Slash. So, if you have the Remembrance weapon, you can even use the S version of Arpina just fine. She also starts with 12 BP. And in the back, I have Raphael, also given out very recently. And Shimmering Slash is also here. He can use Albert's weapon because he's also from Monster Saga 1 Slash, so he is easy to build. So, those two characters are enough to farm this event, and most people will be able to. Okay, and now Arpina is gonna go first. She's weaker, of course, but still 170,000. Now it's time for Raphael. He's stronger, and he's gonna kill Ricky. And like I said, it's easy to find a weapon for him. See? So, we finish it. The only strategy that I cannot show is the Lunar New Year Leonard that can solo farm the Rose stage, but I never summoned it for him, so I cannot use. But that's the end of the video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe if you haven't, and if you want to support the channel, there are links on the description of the video, I hope to see you soon in the next one. Bye!